Music history? I can tell you music history. Alright, music history. So there's a bunch of morons and they weren't uh, killing each other in the dark ages, right? Everyone's just killing each other because they don't know any better. They never thought, ever. And then one guy uh, figured out he could use a metaphor to stop people from killing people. And as soon as the first people understood the metaphor and stopped killing people, the noise they made was, Oh! So then for the next, like, 100 years, everyone's making songs around, Oh! Especially when you get to religion where it's nothing but metaphors. Everyone's just always constantly going, Oh, God. Or whatever. That's like a hundred years, right? You're just doing that because humans suck. So then you get Bach and he's like, Hey, look at this organ thing. I bet I can play this like a motherfucker. And he did. He played like a motherfucker. And then everyone's like, Oh, you can do all this shit with music? Oh. But they still didn't know how to get softer or louder. It was just, uh, it was just loud <laughs> all the time. And then that took about a hundred and more years. Then you get to classical, you got Mozart and, and just Mozart. Sorry, I don't want to confuse you since you... <laughs> Topless. Anyway, you get to Mozart and he figures out you can go loud and quiet. So, uh... He, uh... You can only exist in those two states, loud or quiet. You can't go from quiet to loud gracefully. You just have to do... So that's another hundred fucking years. And then Beethoven's like, hey guys, you can actually do a couple of different things. And then they invented the crescendo where you can go do 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 And then Beethoven did all his stuff, which is all pretty good stuff. Still holds up. And then you get the Romantic era with Tchaikovsky in them. Uh, Wagner, a lot of Russians for some reason. But anyway, everyone figures out, hey, we can make... Th hey, trombone. Hey, thank you. And this is when the trombones are invented. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh... And then you get to that era, and then they figure out you can put emotions to music. So they're like, hey, we can make people feel sad. We can make people feel glad. We can make people feel smart. Didn't work. And, uh... Ah, this is pretty cool. Anyway. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Anyway, so they figure out emotion. So then we get a bunch of operas and crap that have emotion, actually. And, uh... Then the turn of the century. We get to about the 1900s. That's where we are now. And, uh, everyone decides that all the good work we've been doing as humans over the years, we're just gonna forget about all that. And we're gonna have John Cage just playing a bathtub for 30 minutes. So then, because the classical music masters were fucking around like morons, Hey. Jackson, drum are already in the truck, right? Wait, they're actually stealing the instruments? Because all the classical masters were being morons in the 1900s, uh, that's when you get jazz coming out. Like, oh, we actually want to make some type of music that actually f sounds good. And then you get rock and roll, and then American Idol ruined everything. And that's music history.